I wanted to make this video on another method of playing Minecraft Bedrock on Apple Silicon devices. I have made videos covering the Minecraft Bedrock launcher, but each Minecraft update seems to break it, and I wanted another solution. Uh, this method will require owning the Android version of Minecraft, so if you already have that, great. If not, you'll be able to buy it during the, this setup here. And uh, this approach works perfectly for Realms, and so if that's what you're looking for, this is great. Um, and it should be a, a good long-term solution for that. Um, and it does allow you to use vibrant visuals too, which is great. Um, as of right now though, there is no way to downgrade the version of Minecraft uh, using the Play Store. So if you want to play on a dedicated or private server, you'll need to continue using the Bedrock Launcher um, I've outlined in my other videos. Uh, which will work up until version 1.21.114.1. Um, as of the date of this video. And uh, before we get into it, I want to say thank you to everybody um, for all the support. I'm still a new channel and this will be my fourth video. And we're already at 56 subscribers. So I'm very thankful for that. Thank you. Thank you all again. All of the uh, subscriptions, the likes, the comments, they go a long way to help a small channel like mine. And it just makes my day seeing the channel grow like this and seeing so many people enjoy all the content. So once again, thank you. Seriously, thank you guys. Um, and I also want to take a moment to apologize for my voice. Uh, I've been sick for the past week and it delayed me making this video. And I just decided that, all right, now's the time. So I apologize again, but I wanted to get this video out. All right, so let's get into it. The first thing you're going to want is to go to this website here. I'll provide the link in, link in the description and you're going to download uh, BlueStacks Air for Mac. So let's get that downloaded. Okay, so now that that's done, let's go ahead and open that guy up. Just double click on him. It'll launch the installer and uh, just enter your password in here. There we go. Now hit close. Um, it says move to trash or keep. I just keep for now, but uh, you can move to trash. It's fine. Um, and then so command space will allow the spotlight and just type in uh, blue stacks. Allows you to search for that application. And uh, the first time it loads, you can just hit X on this guy up here too. The first time it loads, it does this video here. Um, you just have to sit there and watch it. So and it's going to start popping up and asking you things like this. The um, allow uh, for local networks and stuff. Just hit allow for everything that pops up there. Okay, so now that it's here, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit home. Oh, no, actually, yeah, we are. There we go. And then under system apps, go to Play Store and hit sign in. And this might take a couple of times. I've had it to where it does this and then it drops me back out. So if you have to, just do that again. Um, and then just type in your credentials that you purchased Minecraft with. Okay, and then here's the two-step verification. You just have to open up that on your phone, the Gmail app, and then hit I agree. I do not back up device data. I don't really care too much about this device because it's just an emulator, so I just hit no and accept. And then now we're gonna search for Minecraft here. And then if you've already purchased Minecraft and it says to buy right here, uh, just click on it and then it will refresh. Um, but if you haven't purchased Minecraft, now will be your time to you know hit this and then hit purchase and go through that entire process. So I've already purchased it. I'm just going to hit it and it will say it's, you know, doing that. And then now we hit install. Okay, so now that that's done, before we actually get into that, if you just hit the home up here, by the way, these are your controls for the Android device. So um, if you're familiar with it, this opens up the um, app drawer view thing and you can uh, cl hold click and drag up and that will close applications. Um, and then home button takes you back to home and this is the back button. So um, I wanna come here for a second and go over a couple of things if you go to that settings icon down here it's a little cog wheel click that and then performance mode i like to set it to high performance and it'll make you restart all right so now that we're back let's go back to settings real quick and then i forget where it's at i think it's under preference yes 
Uh, allow BlueStacks Air to show ads during gameplay. Turn that off. And it'll say the disable is actually the gray one. So make sure to hit that and save changes. Okay, so sorry about that. I had to uh, stop recording for a minute. But um, I think now that we've got the ads disabled, I wanted to, if you go to the Apple icon in the top left, and then system settings, and then let's scroll down to privacy and security. Just want to make sure that um, these categories here, like under files and folders, click on blue stacks and just make sure that these are enabled. If not, hit enable and then it'll ask for your password or touch ID. And then it'll say, uh, if blue stacks is running, it'll say it needs to restart it or just hit later and then go through all these and make sure that anywhere that blue stacks has um, a setting, make sure it's enabled. And especially here under accessibility, um, if blue stacks isn't enabled here, then you might have an issue where uh, you turn your mouse to look around and you'll get your mouse will get caught on the edge of the screen and you won't be able to turn like a full 360. Uh, if you come here and enable this, that will solve that problem. Um, another thing too, uh, let's actually launch Minecraft. This is just my personal preference, but I wanted to go over it. Um, for me, the, the menu is a little large. So if you hit settings and then come down to video, this is um, also where you can change to uh, vibrant visuals if you want. But if you scroll down here, there is a GU scale modifier. I like to set mine to negative two, just to kind of zoom out on that menu a little bit. And then also this allow in-game graphics mode switching, make sure that's enabled. I don't know why that's disabled by default. Um, and it's kind of annoying when you load into a game and then you want to change from fancy to vibrant or something, and you have to exit all the way back to the menu. I don't know why it does that that way, but um, this will allow you to change it in game. So yeah, I think that's that's everything there. Um, I hope this video has helped you out and uh, let me know in the comments if you have any issues or anything. And again, uh, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for all the support. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't and uh, we'll see you again next time.